have those parties. Peter, pumpkin eater.
<laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I've got this one hair that just like has no clue. Doesn't know what it wants to do. I feel like my part has been all over the place lately too. Just not a hair person, guys. I don't know all the things to do with my hair. So today we are making our first fall recipe. I have made a Italian chicken sausage meatball in this really, really yummy brown butter butternut squash sauce. We've got some toasted sunflower seeds on the top, some Pecorino Romano both on top and in the meatballs, have some fresh basil on top. I felt like the basil would really tie in like the Italian sausage. And then we've got the warm nutmeg in there, a little bit of lemon to brighten it up. And I would have got like a bottle of wine, even like the orange wine. I feel like the orange wine is going to be so, so clutch for autumn. But I have the stuff to make a Trader Joe's margarita. It's a two ingredient margarita. It's the best freaking margarita ever. Actually, I like adding lime juice, extra lime juice, because I like mine on the tart side. But so good. Splash of Grand Marnier if you like, but I am just like fantastic with this. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this and we can chat a little bit. Mm. The sauce is uh, looks like a little thick, a little thin. I kind of like a thicker sauce here to really, really coat the meatballs. It smells so good. All right, guys. Meatball cheers. Mmm. That is so good. They're so, so moist. I'm happy with this cooking method, though I am going to make a change next time for even more potential deliciousness. Mm. Mm. Obviously you can make this with pork sausage too. You could do a hot Italian sausage, either chicken. Actually, you know, it's funny. I've been calling it chicken the whole time. It's actually turkey. I meant to get chicken, but I couldn't find any Italian chicken sausage, though I have before. So I bought the turkey. I want to get some kale. Let me just try some of it. Mm. Mm -hmm. These added texture. Mm I'm telling you guys, a meat thermometer is where it's at. Y'all need one. Mm. So to cook these this time, I popped them in the oven at 400 for 10 minutes and then I took them out. I had like gotten the sauce started and everything and once the sauce was like bubbling, ready to go, I added the meatballs in. And of course once I added them in I noticed that I had way too much sauce. I wanted you to like be able to see the curvature of all of the lady lumps of my meatballs. My lovely lady meatball lumps. So they end up finishing cooking in the sauce. I meant to take the meatballs out of the oven when they were about half done. And I think they were a little bit more than half done. So I just popped them in at the end. The residual heat, mind you, when it comes out of the oven is going to continue to cook it. But 
you don't want to hammer these. Like, yes, it has more fat in it because it's sausage, so it's just inherently going to have more fat, but chicken can still really dry out and be unpleasant. So you're doing yourself favors by making the meatballs with sausage in the way of like keeping it keeping it more moist than a normal chicken meatball would be. You could totally eat this with like pasta or rice. I'd probably go with rice. Even polenta would be really good. You could just serve it with like nice crusty bread, garlic bread. I should have made garlic bread. Dang it. Dang it. Mm It's so comforting. It just feels good to eat it. Oh my gosh, you know what else this would be so, so, so good in? A friggin' meatball sandwich. You could melt provolone over top. Just keep everything as is. Add the pumpkin seeds for crunch. Oh my gosh, you guys have to do that. I should have made double. I have extra sauce and everything. It's so easy to make the meatballs though, so it'd be very easy for me to just like get some more, make another batch. I mean, now, I don't know if I told you guys, Shane surprised me with a second freezer in the garage. I've been like looking to buy one because our fridge and freezer just runneth over all the time. And so I never think to make extra, extra food so that we can have some for leftovers and freeze some. Like, I need to get in the habit of doing that, especially since motherhood is on the horizon for me. You guys know that I had that surgery and the tumor that was in my uterus, now my uterus needs to heal. So it's going to take three months for my uterus to heal before I can, like, get pregnant or anything. So I got three more months of like bachelorette life here. I mean like not bachelorette, but like mom bachelorette. I feel like women should have those parties if, if they're planning on getting pregnant and that works and they don't just like surprise get pregnant. They should friggin' have a party with their girlfriends or their like partners and their friends to just celebrate the fact that your body ain't ever gonna be like this again. <laughs> really, it, I'm laughing, but it, I don't think it's funny at all. I'm real, real worried about it, guys, real worried. Mm -hmm. was a big piece of kale. Also, if you guys wanted a thicker sauce, all you have to do, add less cream, add less chicken stock. I actually used bone broth for extra protein. If you wanted to make a thinner sauce, add more chicken stock, more cream. Just make sure if you're adding more things that you check for seasoning after, because you'll likely need to add like a little bit more salt, etc. Mmm.
Mirror's Shame. Kitten, who is that? Who is yours? You know, every time I have one of these, it just makes my day better. <laughs> Some people call me like an alcoholic because I like cook with alcohol and I have a drink with dinner on occasion. I'm the type of person that when it's not in my routine, I don't even think about doing it, really. I mean, I stopped smoking. If you guys didn't know that I smoked, I'm not, not cigarettes. I quit for like a month or two because I we were trying to get pregnant and I thought that that was the reason why maybe, you know, like it helped to not. So I stopped and it was fine. For like a few days I like just have this like oral fixation, honestly. Like reach for it and I'm like, well, ah, can't do that. And it's fine. So I know it's like I'm going to be just fine during pregnancy. Sushi. And I want y'all's opinions i know it's like doesn't help to have like not expert opinions in this kind of field but i feel like there's so many things they say you can't do when you're pregnant and i know they don't have all of these like tests because who's doing like testing on pregnant women like nobody so because they don't know they just tell you to not do like a whole slew of different things and you know sushi is one of those things but i'm like they tell you that because you, they don't want you to get like food poisoning, right? Or like too much tuna, I get like the mercury and like that's an easy thing to stay away from for me. But like sushi in general, I don't get. I've literally never gotten sick from eating sushi. So I'm like, why would I not eat it while I was pregnant? It's not like I eat it every day now. I mean, I maybe eat sushi once every like two, three weeks max currently. So that can't be bad. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about stuff like that? I want your opinions. Mm. There's so much better than squash in this napkin. Yes, yeah, so I have to think of more stories for you guys. <laughs> I'm obviously not going to tell you like all of my all of my stories. You know, we all have secrets. I'll just like go blank when I'm sitting here. I really need to like think about it. Oh, and I said you guys should like start asking me questions. I feel like I've asked or answered a lot of the questions previously, but I'll take a look. Ask me more questions <laughs> the next time. I will start answering answering again. Mm. I didn't tell you guys what I was going to do differently next time. Shane's coming up the stairs. Both of them say hi. So next time, I'm going to pop these in the broiler instead of just the oven at 400. Share with you it's the pumpkin, the baby pumpkin. It's a baby pumpkin. The baby pumpkin. Did you name it? No. <laughs> His name is Baby Pumpkin. Peter. Peter Pumpkin Eater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can cannibal cannibal pumpkin. Cannibal. Peter Pumpkin Eater. He's a pumpkin. Peter wasn't a pumpkin. Yeah, Peter. He was Peter, an eater, eater of pumpkins. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater. I know, Peter is a pumpkin eater and you just named the pumpkin Peter. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's a fair point. Well, at least we have another baby pumpkin that's less weird. Should we carve him out to be a cannibal? Like that he's eating the other pumpkin? <laughs> Should we do that? We can like carve out a mouth and then like prop it up on top 
of this other pumpkin and like take a chunk out of the top of it and have the face be like, ah, in agony. Oh, man. You know that would be really funny. That's just dark. It's not, you're the one that called it a cannibal. Uh, no, you actually said that was a well, cannibal. Well, you named him Peter. Well, I didn't say, uh, that's not where I was going with well, it. Well, that's what happened. This is what naturally flowed out of you. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Guess I'm just gonna keep these with me for the rest of the video. Yeah. He really wanted me to put them out here before, and I just well, here forgot, they are. so here they are. Here they are. You enjoy. You're... Dinner awaits you in moments. Oh Catch him. It's getting dark, so we gotta wrap this up. But next time I'm gonna put it in the broiler for maybe five minutes because the broiler is hotter so put it in the broiler for five minutes i'm hoping that the tops will get more like brown and caramelized because that equals more flavor which is what we want so yeah next time i'm gonna try the broiler and i found that out on new york times cooking by the way i looked up just like a basic like i want to know the proportions of a meatball so that i could just take that and run with it in like twenty thousand different directions whatever. Now that I've got that, they had said to broil like completely and not put it in sauce um, for five to seven minutes. And I think you just broil for half that time, finish in the sauce, keeps the meatballs really, really moist, especially like the thinner the sauce, the more like juicy and moist they'll be. I'm definitely, definitely going to do a red sauce meatball for the winter, probably for the winter. Mm. Was that my first bite with basil? That was so good. Mm. All right, I'm gonna have one more. There's four left at, well, there's five left. I'm gonna eat one more. I'm gonna save the rest for Shane. Such a good wife. yeah this is this is definitely a keeper it's the first time i just like conceptualized the dish earlier today it was between this the italian sausage chicken meatballs turkey turkey meatballs i keep saying chicken and doing a lemon pepper rosemary chicken meatball at the time i was like definitely said a rosemary chicken but whatever rosemary turkey could use sage as well um, I feel like I'm going to be using a lot of sage coming up here, so I wanted to not use it every single place. Um, yeah, and then I landed on this. My mom helped too. She helped me pick. I want more! <laughs> but if I eat more, then that's like just definitely not enough for Shane. <laughs> Sorry, Shane! I feel like I'm very orange right now. We've got like a little arrow garden thing. It's like this hydroponic herb garden in our window. I feel like it's really illuminating me. And then like these orange pumpkins. 
feel very like just like bright and orange right now. Am I Umbulva? What would you get if you da 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 da? Nobody da da. All right, guys, I have to stop here so I can feed my husband. Thank you guys so much. For joining today i just really appreciate you guys i love the community here it really makes me feel good you guys are just like the sweetest you leave the nicest comments it is just so refreshing to be here y'all are definitely like a priority for me and yeah i just really appreciate you guys so thank you comment below what you thought about this recipe i freaking loved it i think you guys have to try making this yourselves comment below any other fall recipes you want to see me make and yeah guys that's it for me thanks so much again for joining and i will see you guys next time bye guys